Hello and welcome to the Insecure Chef. I'm here again as always with Regina on uh, a nice cool uh, end of November, December 1st tomorrow. So holidays are coming right by. Thanksgiving was great. Hope you had a good time. All right, so today we're going to be doing, in the air fryer, we're going to be doing uh, uh, beef filet. And that's uh, for you fancy folks out there. That's filet mignon. Okay, uh, and we got these filet mignons here. They're very wonderful. We got them great, great price. I only had to take an uh, eight-year mortgage on the house to pay for it, so that wasn't bad at all. So we're going to get started. As I said, it's going to be air fried. Very basic, very simple. I'm going to just do right now, and that's the air fryer you hear heating in the back, so I hope I'm loud enough. I'm going to give this a little spritz here of oil. All right, I'm just going to rub that around my hand here like that. And I'll do the same thing on the back side. Okay, just a little spritz. Nothing fancy. All right. Now to that, I'm just going to give it a couple of cranks of uh, of salt here. This is the uh, I can figure out how to open it. Oh, there it is. Okay, this is this fancy pink. Ooh, oh. Surprise. Well, yes, we're gonna get interested in that. All right, tell you what we're gonna do. It's not a big problem though. I don't know why that came off, babe. No. We'll have to we'll have to we'll see have the to, people. We'll have to investigate that. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Okay. Matter of fact, it kind of gets it makes it easier. I'm just gonna <laughs> salt go. these up like that. Okay. And I'll get the extras off there. Ah, the filet filet came off. Ah. All right. So we're gonna move these uh, over to the air fryer. Let's go over there. Over to the air fryer. And I've been preheating, as you see, at 400 degrees. So, I'm going to take those now. And I'm going to pop them in the fryer. Like so. Like that. All right. And now we're going to uh, close it up. All right, and we're going to let this first side go for about three minutes, and then we'll rotate it. So uh, we'll be back when that's ready. All right, take a look at it here. I'm just going to rotate the steaks now about 45 degrees, like that. I don't know if you can see that or not. All I'm doing is rotating them 45 degrees. All right, and we're going to close it back down again, and we're going to give it another minute or two. All right. Now I'm going to flip the steaks over, like so. I'm sorry I'm on your way, hon. No, it's okay. You need okay. more expensive equipment. Yeah. I can see. All right. You can take a look down there. The steaks have been flipped. And now I'm going to uh, finish them up on this side. We'll be back. All right. Taking a look at those steaks. They're all done right now. I checked them with my thermometer. They're all over 145. No problems. So, we're going to take that out right now, and we're going to let them rest. There we go. All right, there we are. They're right there. A nice look at those. They come out very nice. And we'll let them sit a little bit. And what we're going to do now is we're going to move over to the stove. I'm going to make a side dish here. I'm going to do a little stir-fried broccoli, just broccoli. Uh, basically, I've got high... Uh, High smoke point oil here, anything like, you know, uh, canola or vegetable oil or peanut oil, avocado. Don't use anything like, you know, uh, olive oil, low temperature. That won't work. So relatively high temperature. I'm going to let that heat up just a little bit. I'm going to throw some broccoli in. And once it gets that nice green color, maybe it starts to get a little brown spots on it, I'm going to throw in a little uh, ginger paste. And then uh, from the ginger paste from that, I'll throw in some water, put the lid on to finish it by steaming it, and that'll be our side. And with that, we're going to have a baked potato. So when the smoke clears, we should have a whole meal. So let's see. Yeah, this seems like it might be getting hot enough now. So I'm going to throw the broccoli in now. Okay. And I think that scooped around. <laughs> I'll have to clean my stove. Normally I would do it with, with, with the wok, but I was too lazy to go downstairs into my basement to get the cover for my wok. So I decided I would just use a saute pan since I have a convenient cover for that. 
So I'm working now with uh, a medium high heat. And uh, as you can see, I'm using very, very little oil. If you look in the pan, you'll see virtually none. I hope I have enough. <laughs> Again, we try to do this, uh, especially for GERD sufferers, we try to keep oil content down to a minimum. Regina hasn't had any problems with any of the stir-fry dishes I've made. Right? So that's a good thing. I'm just going to let this do its thing here for a minute or two. Okay, Brock just picked up some nice color. I'm going to give it just a quick table salt there. And now I'm going to throw in some ginger paste. I simply took the ginger paste and I uh, dissolved it in water a little bit. I'm going to let that go around. Give that about 30 seconds. And now I'm going to add a half a cup of water. I'm going to add a half a cup of water to that right now. Okay, put a lid on, and we're just going to let it steam. Okay, looks good enough to me. Just steamed it for about two or three minutes, that's all. We'll just take that out, that way they stay relatively crisp, but firm. And they picked up, you know, a little color. And now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to finish it off with a little spritz of soy sauce. Like so. And that will be our side for broccolis. Alright, broccoli there, ready to go. And we'll move over to here. And this will become our baked potato that was in the oven and I'm going to take a case now take a look at our steaks take a look how it comes out is this mine babe yeah all right there oh, we go perfect beautiful steak yeah done very well in the air fryer let's see how it tastes mm -hmm. <laughs> Tender. Tender like butter. Juicy. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to love this. I'm sure I will. Allow me to chew, but... Uh -huh. Let's give the broccoli a taste. Yeah. I'm still enjoying this meat. <laughs> Here we go. It's hot. Yeah, I'm sure. My background, ginger taste, a little soy, uh, tender firm. Very tasty. All right. Now we got we got your other steaks over here, right, babe? Uh, they're on my plate. Oh, they're on your yeah. plate already. Yeah. Well, okay. Let me tell you what. Let me get myself a little here. Like so. Okay. And there you go. So... From the Instagram Chef and Regina. Have a wonderful night. Thank you for watching us. Enjoy the filet mignon. We are definitely approaching 1,000. We're over 900 now. We're looking for a 1,000th uh, subscriber. We appreciate it. Please invite your family and your friends. Enjoy it. Welcome to the holidays. God bless. Bye-bye.